Pediatric transplantation is uniquely challenging because children are very different from adults in that they vary in sizes. The diseases that we take care of and that we provide liver transplantation for are very diverse. And we're also working with children who have developing and progressing physiology so that caring for a newborn who's receiving a liver transplantation is very different from a teen. When we first started doing liver transplants, the mortality was in a 20% range. But with the innovation in techniques that we use to try to use every available donor, uh, no matter how large they are, to meet the needs of the child, and also the important work that's being done in the UNOS committees that will favor the allocation of small livers to children will hopefully bring that mortality down to zero in the near future. What I think is unique about the patient experience at the Transplant Center at Lurie Children's is the quality and experience that we have in our nurse practitioners. The nurse practitioners provide a lot of the face-to-face -face care with these families, both preoperatively and postoperatively. And they're there to help give education and reach out to the support that the families may need. I think that what's unique about our center's approach to transplantation is that we have a fully integrated medical surgical team where all members of the team have an equal voice and contribute to the ongoing care plan. A multidisciplinary approach to patient care is really important for us here at Lurie Children's. We take care of children with complicated needs and many of them have different organ systems involved and it really requires a team approach with members from many different subspecialties. We work with teams from pharmacy, from nutrition, from social work, and each of those services is really looking at their area and how they can best help the patient, and it ensures that they're getting excellent care across all of those disciplines. The well, Lurie Children's Hospital is a leader in this field and has been for quite a long time. Our center has been using split liver transplants now for almost 20 years. We were one of the first to start doing split liver transplants on a routine basis. What really is appealing to us is that we can transplant two children with the same liver, a baby and an older child. And we have published repeatedly on the use of split liver transplants, and I think now it has become quite a mainstream option in many centers. Top-notch transplant care is important, but it's also important to be able to avoid transplantation whenever you can. In some areas, we've really been able to make strides, uh, especially in our care of hepatoblastoma and patients with acute liver failure. The interventional radiology team works closely with the transplant team to find the least invasive way to fix the underlying issue. Interventional radiology plays a key part in managing portal vein issues that might arise in the liver transplant setting. The portal vein provides the majority of the blood flow to the liver, and what can happen is at times you can have clot that forms in the portal vein, or it can get narrowed. And so what we in IR can provide is using an incision that's as small as a pinhole, get a catheter into the blood vessel, and then we have a vacuum-like device that can remove the clots. If there's an area of narrowing, we can use a balloon or even a stent, similar to what someone may do in the heart to help restore blood flow to the liver. The center helps patients on their journey before, during, and after their surgery by introducing the team right at the beginning. And this team includes our social worker, our dietitian, our pharmacist, our nurse practitioner, our physician, and also our surgeon. And these people, these faces, will be the same people that the family will know throughout their whole journey, both during transplant, immediately after transplant, and then years down the road. I think that it's really important when you care for children with rare diseases to be involved in research, and that is something that's really important to us here at Lurie Children's. We want to advance the field and continue to learn new treatments for the children that we care for and be able to best take care of them in the future, and that really requires both a clinical approach and a research approach. We hope that in the future patients will have to rely less and less on immunosuppression and the achievement of transplantation tolerance has been considered the holy grail of transplantation for a long time, but it's still a long way away. And I, but I think it's gonna be coming and hopefully the next generation will be able to do that. I think our future here at Lurie Children's is bright. I think that what I would hope to see is that we continue to broaden our expertise in basic science and translational science and that we continue to attract the brightest and best trainees to our program.